As the familiar neighborhood hero's world carries on expanding, there has been an unexpected announcement that Sony is developing a Spider-Man spin-off movie based on Madame Web. Not long ago, Dakota Johnson shared a story on Instagram with a spider theme, which could be a clue and a confirmation of her casting as Madame Web in the upcoming Spider-Man spin-off. Johnson recently confirmed that she is in talks with Sony to play Madame Web. The announcement came after the huge success of MCU's Spider-Man and the growth of Sony's Spider-Man universe. Recap In the 1980s, the character of Cassandra Webb, Madame Webb, was first introduced in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 210. Madame Webb is a mutant who has the abilities like telepathy, astral projection, clairvoyance, which makes her very impressive. She was born blind and suffers from a condition called mycethenia gravis, which attacks the muscles all over the body. Cassandra is also paralyzed because of her condition and has to rely on the spider web shaped surviving machine. Since Webb is connected to the web of life and destiny, she is capable of sensing her past, present, and future. This led her to trouble in the past, which she was tormented by Craven the Hunter's family in order to look into their future. It was also confirmed that the Spider-Man will be part of Craving the Hunter, so it is very possible that he could appear in Madame Webb's story. Even though Madame Webb is usually Spider-Man's accomplice and is also taking on Professor Xavier's role as a mentor, because of her own selfish efforts, she has been wandering into the dark. Supposedly, Sony might recreate her origin story, since she is mostly portrayed as a frail OAP, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe is infamous for doing that. Cassandra Webb had her throat slit and moved her consciousness into the following Spider-Woman, Julia Carpenter. Release Date Johnson's story on Instagram has contained a single web emoji in the middle of a black screen, which made her hint clear to us. The story has a very evident connection to Spider-Man and her casting in the movie. Even though nothing is official yet, we can safely say that it brings an optimistic look for her future in the MCU, along with her conversation about the casting with Sony. Following the surprise in 2018, when Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was crowned as the highest rated Spider-Man movie of all time, there has been a lot of negotiations about a live-action Spider-Verse movie, and if Madame Webb isn't exceeding the audience's wish list expectations, having her possibly join Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and Tobey Maguire as a trio of Spider-Man actors is an idea that's practically too good to be true. As of today, Sony is supposedly working on the upcoming movie, while Matt Sazama and Burke Sharpless are hired to write this story. It is still uncertain for us what we can expect from Madame Webb, but the eight-leg creature might be sneaking sooner than we think on the screen. Voila! Excellent work, Spider-Man. Who says good help is hard to find? Now, just one more fragment to go. Cast After the release of Spider-Man No Way Home in December of 2021, the fans have been impatiently waiting to find out more about Sony's plans for the franchise. And now, we finally have some answers, just not the ones people were expecting. The star of Fifty Shades of Grey, Dakota Johnson, will portray the leading role in Madame Webb, which was confirmed by Deadline. Even though the character is presented as an older woman in the comics, this is probably going to change when Madame Webb will be set for the big screen. For now, only a couple of names have been confirmed for the project. According to Variety, Matt Sazama and Burke Sharpless are confirmed as Madame Webb's writers. They started working on the project right after it was first announced. Besides them, S.J. Clarkson will take on the director's role in the movie's debut. Clarkson has a lot of experience in television directing. He is known for working on projects like Jessica Jones, Dexter, The Defenders, Succession, and Life on Mars. Other than comics, Cassandra Webb has been portrayed in numerous Spider-Man video games and animated series. On television, her first appearance was in Spider-Man The Animated Series, where she was voiced by Joanne Bucock Lee, Stan Lee's wife, after the husband's appearance trend. This is the most powerful of all the mystic artifacts in the world, and you shattered. Story The box office fight for the MCU's female Avengers, A Force movie, is a possible storyline for Madame Webb. Cassandra Webb teamed up with previous Spider Women, which included Carpenter, Jessica Drew, and Maddie Franklin, to undertake Webb's granddaughter when Dr. Octopus made her into a spider-human hybrid. Although Madame Webb was MIA in Insomniac Games, critically praised Spider-Man, 
it's not so difficult to visualize her performing in a role in the Inescapable sequel. Some people will probably remember her in the Beyonder, testing Spidey in some of the best episodes of the show. The story begins with Peter Parker dismissing Madame Webb and her hypothetical psychic powers after Debbie Whitman, his love romantic interest, displays him her business card. Oddly enough, the issue ends with Madame Webb rescuing Spider-Man's butt. The Daily Club is the place where Peter works and is run by the introverted K.J. Clayton. The staff has a meeting with Clayton, where they discover that she is a gorgeous young blonde. She lets everyone know that from now on, they will have to report things to the newcomer Rupert Dockery. Something seems a bit off, doesn't it? In the meantime, Peter is unable to attend the meeting because the guards won't let him in. There's a deadly outcome when five covered up men interrupt the meeting and hold everybody at gunpoint. Luckily, Spider-Man succeeds to break in where the meeting is held, even though it looks like it's already too late. The disguised men run away while leaving a piece of paper with Madame Webb's photo behind it. It is about time for Spidey to discover who the mysterious webbed woman really is, and as he finds out, Madame Webb is very old. So will Dakota Johnson be able to play the character of an old woman, unable to move? Presumably not. Fans also feel like Johnson's casting is an odd choice. As we mentioned earlier, Marvel will adopt a later version of Madame Webb's character instead of using her original character's origin. Throughout the Grim Hunt storyline in The Amazing Spider-Man number 637, Cassandra Webb dies. Her blindness and power are passed bequeathed to the young Julia Carpenter, who, up to that point, was the second Spider-Woman, and after that, the second Arachne. Carpenter's first big operation as Madame Webb is to stop Spider-Man from murdering Craving the Hunter because it could have a harsh long-term outcome. The presence of Sony in the Marvel Universe is undoubtedly expanding after they produced the highly successful Spider-Man No Way Home. Tom Hardy's Venom franchise and Jared Leto's Morbius will also be released by Sony on April 1st. We still don't know the release date for Madame Webb, but it's likely that it won't be seeing her on the silver screen in the near future. However, Sony might be developing the Sinister Six and another movie directly directed by Olivia Wilde, which could have an appearance by Spider-Woman. For the moment, you can watch Dakota Johnson in The Lost Daughter, which is streaming on Netflix. Or you can watch Spider-Man No Way Home again and again. Dimensions, dimensions that are strange reflections of our own, a past unlike ours. What are your hopes for Sony's Madame Web? Let us know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Thanks for watching.